Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today we're tackling a tricky issue that many developers encounter when working with WebSockets in a Kubernetes environment. Our viewer has a Golang service using Gorilla for WebSocket connections, but they're facing an unexpected challenge. After 30 seconds, their connections are dropping unexpectedly. Let's dive into the details and see if we can uncover the root of this problem. All right, guys, we're back with another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully you find your solution that you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on to the video. Let's address the issue of WebSocket connections dropping after 30 seconds in your GKE cluster. This behavior is often related to timeout settings in your load balancer. In GKE, the default timeout for backend services is set to 30 seconds. This means if the load balancer does not receive a response within this time frame, it will close the connection. To resolve this, you can increase the backend timeout setting on your load balancer. However, setting it to an excessively high value, like 30,000 seconds, is not a practical solution. Instead, consider implementing a keep alive mechanism in your WebSocket implementation. This will ensure that the connection remains active and responsive, preventing premature closure. Lastly, review your load balancer's health checks. Ensure they are configured to accurately reflect the health of your WebSocket service, which can help maintain stable connections. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. It seems the connection drops with GKE and WebSocket might be working as intended. Google has just updated their documentation regarding this issue. For more details, you can refer to the Load Balancer Proxy Support documentation and the Backend Service Components documentation. Cheers from Matt. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To address dropped WebSocket connections in GKE with NodePort, check out an example provided in the GitHub repository. And that's it, guys. I hope this video helped answer your question and you found that answer that you're looking for. Now, please hit subscribe for the help. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you next time on another one of these videos. Cheers.